Good morning. Welcome to your 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. We have some most of the cloudy skies out there today. We'll continue to see, excuse me, this morning we'll see those skies turn into partly cloudy conditions for the afternoon, and then we'll see a chance of some thunderstorms and move into the evening hours with a line of thunderstorms possible moving through the region after 1900 local this evening. Looking at our current conditions, our current surface analysis across the United States, seeing an area of high pressure that's uh, off the eastern seaboard currently that's going to be providing us with a southerly return flow for today and some of that uh, wind could be breezy at times um, slight possibility we see a wind advisory for the afternoon hours today we have a convective line that's currently moving through the Ohio Valley that it will uh, continue to weaken as it moves towards our region but the remnant and uh, short wave associated with this convection will allow for us to have a possibility of some showers and thunderstorms during the evening Looking at uh, our current uh, radar and, uh, excuse me, our current satellite across the region, you can see we'll, we have this convective line associated with a uh, plethora of high level cloud cover and other levels of cloud cover across the Ohio Valley, as well as, uh, as a lot of lightning across the region. It's going to continue to weaken towards the region as it moves towards the Mid Atlantic region. That's going to be providing us with an upper level of cirrus cloud, uh, cloud is, clouds excuse me, this morning across the region and that will uh, provide us with uh, partly cloudy skies for the afternoon and we'll see a uh, additional line of convection building across uh, the western portions of the Middle Atlantic region that could provide us with our chances of thunderstorms for the evening hours. Here's our radar across the uh, eastern portion of the United States. You can see this convective line across the Ohio Valley continue to weaken. Uh, did produce some strong uh, thunderstorms and even some strong tornadoes across uh, uh, Missouri last night, uh, some locations seeing uh, a lot of uh, damage from those tornadoes. Uh, our uh, main issue with these thunderstorms today, if they do move through the region, would be strong winds. And here's a look at our uh, HER model that's going to provide us with a forecast for the radar reflectivity. You can see as it moving into the afternoon hours, this is new, nothing really happening on the radar, that convective line weakening as it moves towards our region. Then we'll see some thunderstorms starting to pop along the App Appalachian Mountains for the afternoon hours. Moving the evening hours, the model does put out a line of showers, possibly moving through around 8 o'clock this evening, and the embedded thunderstorms as it moves through. Looks like uh, it's going to be a case, if the thunderstorms do occur, they could be quite strong. However, we do have a fairly uh, strong capping inversion in the low levels that could provide us with uh, a lack of thunderstorms or any showers whatsoever. So still conditional with the thunderstorm chances across the region. Our current conditions uh, are few at 3,000 feet, broken at 5,000 feet, uh, wind out of 100 degree, 90 degrees or southerly direction at 12 knots, temperature 66 degrees and relative humidity at 67%. Looking at our risk chart for today, we'll have uh, Overall good conditions for the morning and afternoon hours will have a slight chance of a wind advisory winds, with winds gusting up to 24 knots and sustained at 12 to 17 knots out of south-southwest for the afternoon. We'll have a high around 78 degrees today and then we'll see those thunderstorm and rain showers uh, chances move into the region after uh, excuse me, 1900 local this evening and then I'll continue through about 2300 local or 2200 local I should say. We'll see our temperatures uh, with those rain showers in the region lowering into the lower 70s, and then we'll see an overnight low that will be unseasonably warm for this time of year at 70 degrees. We'll have a yellow for our precipitation and lightning uh, during that time frame from 1900 local to 2200 local. We'll also have a chance of the wind uh, over 25 knots uh, for the late afternoon into the evening hours. We'll also have a chance of the ceilings below 500 feet or visibilities below a mile with the thunderstorms in the region that do move through the area. We'll see our winds turn more uh, westerly and northwesterly by tomorrow morning and uh, will be slightly breezy by tomorrow morning northwest 9 to 14 knots gusting to 21 knots. Our 24 hour terminal forecast we're going to have VFR conditions uh, today unless we do have those showers and thunderstorms move through the region and with the 25% uh, chance of thunderstorms we could be seeing those lower ceilings down to a thousand feet. Uh, and then by tomorrow morning, we'll just see a scatter deck at 3,000 feet, broken deck at 25,000 feet, a chance that we do have a ceiling around 3,000 feet in the area. Our tides are currently normal. And looking at uh, Friday through Saturday, Friday will be mostly 
uh, excuse me, partly cloudy to mostly sunny, breezy and warm, a high of 83 degrees. Our winds will be gusting, uh, looks like around 25 to 27 knots during the afternoon on Friday, so an orange, so a likely condition we do see those winds over 25 knots Friday afternoon. Then Friday night will be mostly clear to partly cloudy and comfortable, a low of 61 degrees. And then for Saturday, well, partly cloudy conditions and pleasant uh, temperatures, a high of 72 degrees with a green chart across the board for Friday night through Saturday. Well, that's going to complete our 815 Daily Operations Weather Brief. We'll be back at 10 o'clock to look at the next seven days.